okay so this is going to be a very important video in the new laptop setup series okay uh, i hope you are coming from here if you go to the main channel that the playlist is on the home screen now uh, after you have done your unboxing and everything that i asked here and then not use the english username there is one thing that we missed out on and that is a very critical things it's called bios okay let's make a description for this let's make a description for this so yeah the important thing is when you get your new laptop turn it on only when plugged in okay that's the first thing you do not turn it on just as is okay you always plug in your charger okay you always plug in your charger in your laptop and then you turn it on ensure you have power backup at least for a few hours before doing this okay this is very important step because you don't know what has gone on the first boot takes quite a while and it can use quite a lot of you know power and doing it on on battery is not recommended okay so when you get your new laptop turn it on only when you have plugged it in okay we can not going to get into the discussion that oh lithium ion battery they are giving 50 percent charge it used to be the case it's not any we are not getting into that i am telling you that when you turn it on you should have plugged it in simple as that okay second thing second thing for the first few days okay disable any type of conservation mode okay so for the first few three four days at least not enable conservation mode any type of uh, mode that your brand has provided you that limits the battery charge to go from above a certain percentage for the long life of the battery as you can see my laptop won't go more than 56 percent charge because i have enabled conservation mode on this might be in other laptops too it might be named differently but that's the basic idea so this is the conservation mode as you can see it says it will extend the life of your battery when plugged in you do not turn it on for let's say the first week okay simple as that for the first week for the first why instead of just this for the first week disable any type of conservation mode okay we don't do it you can enable a rapid charge that's fine but do not enable conservation mode for the first week. after the first week has passed sure do it the reason for that the reason for that we will just get into it, into it right now yeah and now let's get into why this should be done and there is a very good reason for this is uh, nowadays windows uh, reason for this is windows and even your laptops own software own software center has bios updates in them if along with some critical windows updates that if stopped in the middle will break your computer okay i think that line basically says it so the reason that this we have to do is that windows and even your own laptop software so that that is like the advantage or something these include bios updates also okay they are now part of in windows 11 this has started to happen they are part of this if you saw my other videos in the playlist if i always say go to the website and download it manually download always download the bios manually and install it manually but since you might not have the control over your system since windows 11 requires an internet connection to even you know basically start your laptop so as soon as you give it an internet connection the first thing it will do it will start updating and most likely it will download a new bios update for you without you asking in the background so you don't even know that there was going to be a bios update 
okay while you were trying to turn off your computer turn it off okay disable any type of and never force close your system this is also the reason you should never force close the system in your first week okay now that is this okay 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 also whenever whenever there is a bios slash windows update since windows updates also include kernel updates which are core of your operating system so it might not break your whole computer it might break your just windows installation keep your laptop plugged in simple as that whenever there is a bios or a windows update keep your laptop plugged in keep your laptop plugged in keep your laptop well ventilated as i have showed in in this video keep it well ventilated okay because when there is a bios update let me now show you with a video when there is a bios update it is not a joke okay so this is what an actual bios update looks like and there is a big warning here and there is a very good reason for that warning now if you hear the sounds you can hear the fans running at full power what is on the screen let's read it warning please do not power off your system while it is updating okay and this is a big warning if you do that if you do that it will break. and also one thing whenever there is a bios update or it's the first time you are booting your laptop up it will take quite a while to boot up and what is going to happen in this video will happen it will suddenly turn off like that okay do not panic do not panic calm down do not panic when this happen okay then when this happens this is bios update this is not a joke also whenever you are updating the bios it is recommended you do not connect any external drives anything external at all you do not connect it there is a very little chance that something can happen it's best to avoid it do not connect anything extra not even a keyboard not even a mouse do not connect anything extra when you are sure it's a bios update okay bios updates are no joke it can and it will break your computer if you don't take it seriously we are going to look into that right now okay and then we will move into the second part of the video or maybe i will make that a second video see how long he has to wait how long he has to wait and there is no sign that something is going on if during this process you press the power button and you hold down the power button the bios update that is going on in the background which will not show its output to your system because that is bios it will break your system inevitably with no chance of recovery at least not by you okay you see how long was that and it is still going i think the video is about 2 minutes long so calm down do not worry and see what happens and that was only the second half of the process you see now the brightest light is coming and it still says the com the process hasn't been completed it will still start never start your bios update in 1% less battery so if it's 100% only then you start bios update you do not start bios update even in 99% take my word for it be safe okay and you see how long did it took to actually boot into the system okay i will link this video in the description okay whenever there is a bios update keep your laptop plugged in okay or a windows update okay yeah with that said this video is over okay bios updates are no joke don't take it seriously and we will get into the second part of the video that is basically don't play games on battery and how it might break your system now in the second video